This is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm a laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo T410 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Before I even start, let's make a distinction. There's two types of Lenovo T410s. One is the Lenovo T410, like we have here. And the second one is Lenovo T410S, a lighter, thinner, more expensive version of the T410. Okay, we're working on the T410, and make sure you have the T410. The T410S, it's a totally different procedure and a different screen, and the screen is much more expensive for a T410S. So be lucky that you have a T410 with a broken screen rather than a T410S with a broken screen. So before we start, we're going to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. We flip the laptop over. There's one lever that you slide to the left where my thumb is. And we slide it. And we slide the battery out and put it to the side. Now we can work on this laptop safely. Okay, so just like with most laptop computers, in order to get to the screen, you need to remove the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove some screws, which are hiding behind some screw covers down here. So we're going to start with that. But before we start with that, we're going to go over the tools we're going to need. We're going to need an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit and also a smaller PH0 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 and 0 stands for size. An X-Acto knife with a pointed end. I'll show you what's that used for. And a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck. So the first thing we do is use our X-Acto knife to remove the screw covers. And once we remove that and put that to the side, we see two screws on each side. We do that for this half also. And we use our screwdriver with a PH1 bit to start removing the screws. These, this one's a little bit tight. I don't know why. But nothing we can't handle. One. And for each set of screws, I like to put them in a separate pile so when you're assembling the laptop you don't forget what goes where. Two. Okay. Three. And four. This is a laptop commonly used in business so a lot of companies have this laptop. All right, so now that we've removed the screws, we can snap off the screen bezel. And this is probably the most tricky part of the repair job. So let's see how we do it. Or not. Sometimes it's tricky, sometimes it's not. So what I did, I was put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the bezel from the screen side. So you kind of Work around the whole bezel until you get it all off. If you're stuck on a place, go to a different place and come back to the place that you're stuck on. Okay, now the screen bezel is removed. So the next thing we do is we take a look and see what we need to do next to get the screen out. In this case, it's not too complicated it looks like. There are some metal mounting brackets that are holding the screen on and the screen is attached to brackets with some screws on the side. Obviously we need to get to these screws on the side but we can't get them until we remove the whole assembly from the screen assembly. In this case it's pretty easy. So there's two screws. One here. And put this set of screws in a separate pile. And two. And 
when you do this, have the screen tilted back over so the screen assembly doesn't just fall forward on you. Now, once you do that, the screen should come out. And it does. So we see what's back there, if there's anything that's stopping us. And there's nothing stopping us. Okay, the screen is out. The last thing we have to do is remove the connector and I'm going to talk about the screen a little bit because it is a unique screen. To remove the connector, what you want to do is lift up this tape like so and the video cable has some adhesive on the back of it that's connected to the screen. We lift up this adhesive and then we just slide the connector out like so. Okay, two things that we should note about the screen right away. The first thing is that the screen has some metal mounting brackets on the side that go into the laptop. Now, whatever you do, don't throw these metal mounting brackets on the sides away because they're part of the laptop, they're not part of the screen. And so what I'm going to do is take them off so I don't forget and put them on each side of the laptop with the screws that go there on each side of the laptop. So you don't want to toss the screen out with some valuable hard to find parts from the laptop itself. So we'll put this bracket here like so and do the same thing on this side. one and two and we put this bracket on the side so now we have the screen and let's took, take a look at the screen it's a 14.1 inch LED screen which is a very unusual size and the screen is pretty much unique to this laptop computer so you have to order a screen you need to this laptop computer you can't just order a generic screen with like with most laptop computers and hope it works because it won't the size will be different and the connector will be in a different location and sometimes i even seen that the connector is in the right place but it still doesn't work so you need to order this specific screen so let's look at the part number for this screen it's lp 141 wp3 TL A1. Okay, there's maybe one or two other screens made by other manufacturers that are compatible with this, but you have to know what you're doing. It has been noted that it's specifically compatible with this. Okay, now we at Screen Surgeons occasionally or most of the time do have this screen available, and what you do is go to www.screensurgeons.com you click on buy a screen and then there will be a short form for you to fill out you fill out this form with your model number and we'll get back to you even if we don't have it available we'll find you a place or we'll custom order you a screen okay so once you do get the screen in you reinsert the connector and let me show you what that's supposed to look like. When you reinsert it, you should feel two clicks, like so. Okay. Please ignore my cell phone. Okay, you should feel two clicks. And let's take a close look what it looks like. This is what the connector should look like when it's properly connected. There should be no seam in between there. So sometimes people connect it and it's not all the way and the screen doesn't work. So make sure it's like that. Okay, the next thing to do is once you have the screen connected, you put the mounting brackets back on, like so. Put the two screws back in. Put the screen assembly back in with the screws on top. Snap the bezel on and then put the screws in on the bottom and then test it and you should be ready to go.
Okay, uh, that's it. So the hardest part of this job is making sure you have the right screen, but the procedure itself is not that hard. Okay, uh, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.